it's Rico. What is up, my family? What's up, what's up? This is Rico. Don't forget to show me some love. Hit the like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Yeah. Shh. Good morning, guys. How are you all doing today? So I'm currently heading out of town. I got something very, very, very important to do. We'll be driving about 25 to 30 minutes stops. So come along for the ride. Let's go. Hello, Rico, and welcome to Premier Wheels Direct Grand Prix. Will all season tires work in the winter? Uh, they'll work. They're, they're definitely not as good as winter tires. The main difference between all season and winter tires is the rubber compound in winter tires remains flexible and, and grippable uh, below 7 degrees Celsius. All season tires don't grip so well when they get cold. The rubber stiffens up more like a hockey puck instead of a nice flexible rubber that's going to grip on the ice and the snow. Uh, the best time is when the overnight temperatures are above seven degrees Celsius is a good time to take off your winter tires and likewise to put on the winter tires when your overnight temperatures are dropping below seven degrees Celsius. It's always best on a front wheel drive vehicle that you have the strongest, grippiest tires on the rear. It, it uh, will ensure that if you get into a, a, a type of spin from the rear wheels, let them go, is a lot harder to control than it is having the front wheels uh, lose traction on a corner. The rear wheels being the grippiest keep the back end of the car basically as straight as it can be in the corner. If the back end lets go, it's very, it's, uh, your natural instinct is to steer into and out of it, which aggravates it and make, makes it actually worse. Uh, quite a few years, probably over 20 years from our main Scarborough store, and we've been in the Brantford location now. This is our second year and we're expanding into this end of the province and this is our first uh, expansion outside of uh, Scarborough. Awesome, awesome. So good service and good assortment of tire brands. Some expert knowledge here we just got from Mike and that's Rob in the background now currently acting as the poster boy. Rob the servant. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 
We're uh, good day. Michelin, yeah. Goodyear, BF Goodrich. We're on Michelin's Ultra High Performance Council in North America, yeah. and we do a lot of custom and high-end cars. Awesome, pretty awesome, guys. Yes. <laughs> the purpose of the pin so this is like a viscous rubber it stays uh, mobile basically and it's gonna flow into any of the little pits and corrosion in there and seal it up nice so you don't get any slow leak okay. What's the right amount of pressure we're supposed to put in that? Uh, do you want to check the pressure? Probably 35. Yeah. It's the same for winters or winters is usually more or less? Uh, no, usually the same. Same, okay. Does everybody tell you something different, huh? Uh, if, you, if you really change the tire size a lot, yeah. you can uh, factor in with... Yeah. Uh, 35 PSI. 35 PSI, okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, stay true and stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Hey Rob, is today your first day? Pretty much. First day is any. <laughs>